you guys, it's Tilly and today I am here with a pile of books that I did not finish. I have multiple reasons for why I did not finish some of these books, so I'm going to go through each of them individually, give you guys my reasoning, and hopefully you can tell me if they're actually worth finishing or not, because for some of them I might have only got a few pages in, others a few chapters, and some that I know I'm just never going to finish because the book's just not for me. So starting off in no particular order, the first book that I have is Hollow City. This is the second novel in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. From what I can remember, I did enjoy the first book. I did get about halfway through this one here until I started like skim reading pages and chapters and I kind of thought it was pointless to do that because I wasn't even really engaged in the story in the first place. I'm not too sure what happened. I think that the plotline to this kind of just didn't interest me as much as the first book did and so I just never picked it up. Um, if you guys have read the second book or the third book and it is actually worth finishing, do let me know. I did really like the concept to the first book and I feel like it kind of strayed a little bit in the second one, but I don't know. That might just be me. I feel like there was a novelty with the book and it's kind of worn off. I still love these covers though and how creepy they are and I really do wish that that was enough for me to continue reading them. I don't think that I'm actually alone in this next one. There are a few people that don't like this series or in my case love the first book but dislike the rest of the series and that one is The Last Star by Rick Yancey. This is the final and third book in the Fifth Wave series trilogy. Good job, Tilly. I don't even remember what happened at the end of the second book. All I can remember is the first book, and that was purely because I watched the movie recently. So I don't even know what's happening at this point. And I've already been spoiled as for certain characters that die in the series. So I feel like that gives me no need to actually finish it, because I'm not only like not committed to the story, but the only character that I kind of liked is now dead. So it's kind of a bit of a put-off for this story. And I have barely heard anybody rave about The Last Star, so I've been really struggling to even see this book on my shelves because my mind is more occupied with other books that I could be reading. I feel like so many of you guys are going to hate me for this next one, but please bear with me because although I did not finish the series, I do really love the series and the characters and the people related to this entire fandom. But that one is Harry Potter. I actually got through Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets, but I just didn't get through Prisoner of Azkaban or anything else after that and I think that comes down to the fact that I was trying to force myself to read these books because I believe that everybody has to read Harry Potter but I don't think that I enjoyed these books because I feel like it was for a younger audience. I only tried to read these a few years ago so I would have been 19 or 20 ish and I just I couldn't get past the way that these books were written but I do collect so many of the books and I am a truly invested fan into this world but I haven't actually read the books and I really should convince myself to continue reading them and maybe one day I will but with my huge TBR at the moment it's not a priority on my list and I don't know if it's going to be something that I'll enjoy and I'm kind of scared to continue reading them because what if I don't like them? What if I don't like them? Next up we have a pretty big author that I do really love so I'm kind of really heartbroken that his latest release of books I just have not enjoyed as much and that is Magnus Chase. So I could not get through and the Hammer of Thor and I don't know why it's like once again I felt like the audience was too young for me so I'm not sure if it was just because of my reading slump and I will try again but I don't think that I will continue on with the Magnus Chase series. In saying that, I did pick up Trials of Apollo um, a few months ago. I did try to read that. I only got a few pages in before I put it down and never picked it up again. But if I am going to try any more Rick Rodden's books, I'm going to try Trials of Apollo because I've heard so many great things about it. This next one I did not finish purely because I just did not like the story. And that is Dating You slash Hating You by Christina Lauren. This is the first Christina Lauren book that I have read. My mum loves all of her books. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I can, I can get behind this. But I have not enjoyed this at all. I don't really remember anything about the characters and I only started reading this maybe a few weeks ago. And I only got 50 pages into this book and it was boring. I just remember it being so, so boring and the characters are bland and I felt like nothing happened with the plot and I had no interest in finding out how this was going to end. I didn't really care if the main characters ended up together or not because I wasn't invested. But thanks to this book, I did manage to find a bunch of other romances that I really enjoyed. So I'm going to keep on doing that and sort of thank this book for leading me in that correct direction. The last one that I have is also another one that I think people will be upset that I don't like 
or I like it, but I just don't want to read it. And that is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. There was so much hype around this book, and I think I might have hyped it up too much in my head. Because when I started reading it, I basically had to force myself to keep on going. It was actually an effort to pick this book up and to continue reading it. And I know why people love it. Like, I can see every single great quality that this book has. But I could not keep on reading this. I got about 150 to 200 pages into this book and I was still not interested in the plotline or the characters and I did think it was pretty slow and I'm not sure if I can blame my reading slump for this or the fact that I just am not interested in this book at all. Which is weird to say because I really love fantasy and I like these mean evil characters that do bad things but are sort of good because we root for them but I can't I can't keep reading this book. I, I literally, even now thinking about how many points of things that I would like in this book, I don't feel like reading it. I think it's kind of sad. I think it's sad that I'm not going to read any of these books because they all seem like something that I would enjoy. Like I obviously bought them because I would enjoy them, but didn't find the place in my heart that most books do. Once again, if you guys did enjoy those books, please, I don't mean to like offend you or anything. I couldn't read these books and I hope that one day I will eventually be able to. And if you have read them and you love them that I am so happy that you did. And please go into the comments and try and convince me why I should read them because if they're that good I would like to to feel that. I would like to find a home for them in my heart. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Hopefully I'll be back with another video soon and maybe one that's like Christmassy or happy or my favourite books because, you know, happy videos are good videos. I still think this is a happy video because it's making me think about all the books that I really do love. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that many great things happen to you. Bye! Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here to show you guys my new bath product range that I have just started on my website at tillyandherbooks.com. I am very excited to show you guys